Here we can see a model of the human brain. Posterior view. Lateral view. Frontal view. We're gonna walk through each part of the human brain for you today, beginning with the lobes of the brain. The lobes of the brain are divided in red as the frontal lobe, yellow as the temporal lobe, blue as the parietal lobe, and kind of an orange color in the back here, the occipital lobe. That can also be seen as frontal, parietal, temporal, and occipital. Furthermore, we can see a very prominent sulci. And this sulcus is a central sulcus. It's the sulcus that travels all the way from the top all the way down to the bottom, dividing the frontal and parietal lobes. Now anterior to the sulcus is a pre-central gyrus. Pre-central gyrus dealing with primary motor functioning. Posterior to that sulcus is the post-central gyrus, dealing with somatosensory information. Continue forward to this orange part, and it's the pre-motor cortex. Pre-motor cortex. All the way frontal is the prefrontal cortex. Prefrontal cortex. Down here, there's another sulcus. Called the lateral sulcus. The lateral sulcus divides the temporal from the parietal. Now if you follow the lateral sulcus all the way to the frontal lobe, this is just where about Broca's area is. Broca's area, dealing with speech production. Travel all the way back. And this is Wernicke's area. Wernicke's speech comprehension. But the temporal lobe is mainly for auditory information, where we can see the primary auditory cortex. Primary auditory cortex and the auditory association area. Continuing posteriorly, the occipital lobe with the visual association area. The visual association area is shown here in yellow. Now, from an interior or deeper view, we can see some further structures such as the corpus callosum. Corpus callosum. Cerebellum. Cerebellum with the white branch-like structures as the arbor vitae. Arbor vitae. Continuing inward, C is the thalamus. The thalamus is right here which makes this area the hypothalamus, hypothalamus. 
Now, the pituitary gland would sit right here, but it is currently not shown. What we can see up here is the optic chiasm. Optic chiasm coming from the optic nerve. And while we're at it, let's take a look at the olfactory bulb traveling out towards the frontal lobe. Back down to E, E would be the pons. And I mentioned this one, it's the easiest one to point out of the brain stem, because it has the bulge or the bubble that goes towards the anterior direction. D would be the midbrain. And right below E, down in here, would be the medulla. Inferior to the medulla is the spinal cord. A few more structures to point out. The purple is the choroid plexus. Choroid plexus. The pink is the pineal gland. Pineal gland. And if we are pointing at the ventricles of the brain, this would be the lateral ventricle. This would be the third with the cerebral aqueduct and the fourth ventricle in this space here. The choroid plexus would travel through those ventricles. Don't worry about the brown dot. It sits on the thalamus, but it is not a structure you are responsible for. This has been your brain model video.